I'm like fucking amazed. And I think that the guy is, I'm really, really looking forward to getting to know this person. Am I bummed that Danielle's hanging out with him? That even though she's like living with her boyfriend? No, I don't know her boyfriend. I met him one time. He's very unimpressive. He's probably watching and calling me a motherfucker right now. And he's going out of his mind because she's with somebody a hundred times better looking than he is and has probably a lot more going for him. I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to talk shit about it. I don't know the guy. Yeah. I'm, I know Nick better than I know him. And I really like Nick. Yeah. Would I like to see Danielle end up with him in the long run? Do I think it's going to happen? Probably not. Do I enjoy the fact that she's hanging out with him and stuff? Absolutely. I mean, I think Nick is a great fucking guy. I don't think good he's person to shit. have rub off on her. Well, who sees? Who cares if something happens? Would I be upset about it? No, absolutely not. Yeah. He's a great guy. Would I like to see? Even though I don't know this guy, and you know, would it upset me for her to get together with Nick as a boyfriend or something? Absolutely not. I I think he's a, a fucking great guy. I think he's a straight shooter. He told me flat out yesterday. If it stays the same, you know that I'm voting to keep Danielle in. And I'm like, of course, I wouldn't expect anything different. And he goes, I know you know that, but I wanted to tell you. He goes, I'm yeah. not going to you know, bullshit you or anything else. And I'm like, I appreciate that. you know. And uh, I went up to him and asked him with the veto, comp or the veto competition, you know, if, if I pull your name out or if I pull house guests out, would you use the veto on Danielle? He said no. He said no. And I'm like, cool. I just wanted to know. He could have lied. Why? Yeah. Nobody in this house is going to put themselves out for anybody else right now. It's way no. too early in the game. The only two people Nobody's I could have really won was you and Danielle. Else. Yeah, it would be silly but you know for what? anyone to. So you know, Carol's the first one that brought that up. She goes, you and Danielle have an alliance. And no, I no, go, because you were the two nominated. No, well, You're the only two that would use it. I'm talking about before. What? Carol brought, she said, you and Danielle have an alliance. And I said, how can you even say that? I'm like, we said, the most that we've talked in this house yeah. was the first five minutes when we went in there and she started crying. And it was very personal at that time. Right. Now, let me finish this first. I said, no, because I, I don't even talk to her. And she says, well, let me change that. You have a one-sided alliance. Because you would never make a move against her. You'd never lie or backstab or this or that. And I go, well, I don't know if that... How can you say it's an alliance? I go, I wouldn't make a move against her. But if, like this week, if she was to go, and even if I wasn't in up on the block, would I stop it from happening? How could I stop it from happening? Yeah, you can. But at least my hand's blood free. And let me tell you, it would make my game a hell of a lot easier. Would I be sad to see her go? The first week I asked Cal, please, please do me a favor. I will never ask you for anything again. I haven't seen my daughter in two years. And I want a little bit more time just to be around each other. Yeah, see if it what works out. It's yeah. like a beginning to fixing this. Yeah. And um, I don't know if, you know, I doubt Kel would have put her up anyway, but um, she didn't. And... You know, but we can't talk about anything personal in this house because if we were to go and talk about anything personal, it's not going to be taken as anything personal. It's going to be taken as, oh, they're together. Oh, they're talking strategy, which is fucking bullshit. I haven't talked to my daughter in two fucking years. You don't think that there's like other things to talk about that I want to talk to her about? Yeah, obviously there's there's anyone that we knew before this would be there's other things to talk about. But I can't do it. You can. No, and she wouldn't take the risk of. She wouldn't um. take the risk either. So, no. And anything on a personal level is going to be... And you know what? She said it day one. She goes, in this house, we'll be cordial. In this house, we'll be not making, trying not to make people feel uncomfortable. But what's going on between us isn't going to be dealt with until we're outside of this house, if it's dealt with at all. And she was very honest, very upfront, and it is what it is. I'm just hoping that I'm just hoping that this is baby steps in order to open the door for at least some fucking kind of communication with my own daughter, you know. And I was trying to make a point, and you know, upstairs of I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. I got the hardest game in this goddamn place. No, and definitely. Like, I don't know who's you know. You didn't have to that. do it. You could have left. 
you know? Well, but I work my fucking ass off to get yeah. married.